What is up, my riders? So today is just gonna be like a complete update video and more of an explanation on the Alinity vs. PewDiePie drama uh, that's going on and that is still continually going on. But I feel like I didn't touch upon it. I feel like I didn't... Guys, if you even knew the hassle I went with trying to keep my dog quiet during these things. Yeah, yeah, better. Stop, I'm not throwing it. And... If I don't, and I just leave her toy there, she'll just throw it on the ground, go pick it up, and then bark at me. That is a constant uh, reoccurrence, and I'm about uh, to make a skit on it eventually, because uh, it's the most annoying uh, thing uh, in the world. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to uh, give you guys a quick summary uh, of what's going on and uh, why I touched upon it on the other video. For the people that came to my video that were a little confused or mad for some reason on why I touched upon feminism to do with the uh, video itself too. So you guys all know PewDiePie and then there's Alinity, which she is a Twitch streamer. Uh, I would use that term very loosely because she doesn't really have any talents. Uh, she basically just, as PewDiePie says, shows off her body for attention because little kids, like little boys on YouTube, which are what makes the a mass of YouTube and even some older guys, obviously it's boobs in the thumbnail, come to the videos because of her showing off her body and that's how she amassed the grouping on her uh, Twitch as people follow her uh, from strictly that. Uh, she made the mistake though of attacking PewDiePie, the biggest YouTuber uh, on the platform for calling her a Twitch thought indirectly. This is so annoying. Stupid Twitch thoughts. I just feel like they, they win over me, okay? And they're not gonna win over me. Stupid Twitch thoughts. No. S seriously? He just said that? Which is where the victim role kind of comes in, and I want to touch upon that more. This is where I wanted to touch upon the victim role a little bit because this had nothing to do with her. When he even said the term, Twitch thought, which is like a slang term, I guess, for ho. He didn't even say ho. He didn't say, oh, you're a whore, you're this, you're that. He he said that loosely on a Twitch compilation, which just so happens it wasn't even on her video at the time that he said that. But she decided that she was going to take it up and I guess take advantage of the video um, and try to, to grow from it, try to get popularity from this said video. Uh, that PewDiePie made. So she did a reaction like a lot of people do, but of course she did the complete 360 of what um, you would expect someone to react to that. Most normal people like It's a Sky, I think is her channel name, I'll put it underneath if I butchered it, um, reacted to it and she completely was like, oh, it's not that bad, why did she act like that? I think it was more of the fact that the shoe fit for Alinity more personally so that she decided can we, can we copy, copy strike PewDiePie, PewDiePie? by uh, basically saying can we evoke copyright on PewDiePie for his video including her in a brief compilation uh, which is really selfish and basically she's also admitted to stealing a multiple amount of money from other people by doing this uh, in multiple videos and PewDiePie touches upon this and I always say go to PewDiePie's video if you want an in-depth video on it because he knows best I'm just a, a bystander but I personally have a hatred towards those Twitch streamers themselves just because it's kind of like a double double standard too you don't see guys doing that to amass popularity but girls take advantage of using their bodies to get the edge on gaining these a mass amount of people but then when people call them out on it for doing it they call the oh my god he's harassing me card or uh, I'm being uh, verbally attacked and then they play the feminist role where they want to get a big group of feminists come to the rescue like they're shining heroes like that just because this girl that just did all this stuff now all of a sudden can't defend herself and take responsibility for any of her actions which made me bring the third wave feminism a perfect example into this equation which I don't think anyone else has brought that up in any other video so I thought that was kinda cool that I could throw my own twist on 
uh, uh, the viewpoint of it because in, a, in essence that's kind of what happened and kind of what played out once it sparked controversy and um, PewDiePie kind of rebounded to uh, her response. That's kind of the, the ironic thing because as soon as he made a response to her, her trying to push this way further than it should have ever gone and just um, responded positively to his video that he made apologizing to her, she just pushes it even further. But then people start digging up stuff on this chick as they would because PewDiePie is the biggest, uh, has the biggest fan base on YouTube. So the 62.5 million tons of videos about her showing her true colors. And she publicly announced on a live stream that she married and then divorced a guy just to get the right to live in Canada. So she took advantage of him to stay in a country. And if that's not enough, um, I did actually find there is um, a change on change.org. There is a petition trying to get her uh, kicked out of Canada because legally that is that could hold up in the court of law, her verbally admitting to um, fraud. Um, so with that all being said, I will link the petition down below. You can decide if you want to sign that or not because I don't I feel like I don't want to be the person to play God as far as bringing the kind of wave to this and decide being the deciding factor of if she stays at Canada or not I don't want to be that guy but there is a petition down below if you feel as strongly as I did I will admit that I personally did sign it but for a good reason and this girl even after like I said she's had plenty of chances to apologize and yet she blames her uh, company uh, that supports her. I forget the name of the company. This is why I probably should do more research on the, the subject. She will blame anything but herself and she will not take full responsibility for anything that she does even though there is plenty of evidence supporting that she's a terrible person and the fact of the matter is PewDiePie is right and she is wrong in this matter, but yet you have all these articles now and these sh white shining knight hero type people uh, trying to protect her in essence because they want to look like the good guy. They want to look like they're protecting feminist rights and all that good stuff, whereas it's completely in the complete opposite direction that they should be taking the stand on. So they're taking the stand on Alinity's um, story and only picking up partial facts and trying to make it sound as PewDiePie is in the wrong and he is harassing this girl um, by just completely flipping the story and PewDiePie just talked about that in his most recent video which I think I linked in the last video. This is just a continuation of that video to explain and he basically said Vice picked up the story which is um, I would say another perfect example just as the Ooh. other um, just as the other news articles you could think of, let's say uh, BuzzFeed or something like that, that um. more or less kind of supports the third wave yeah. feminist outlook. I have nothing against feminism. I have nothing against women's rights. I think we live in a society now where women's rights are, as of men, pretty much uh, equal. And I could actually bring my girlfriend on, the girl that I'm talking to that I did the video on with and have her talk about it too because she is a woman, she's a woman in this society and she even has the same outlook on that as long as well as many of her friends. So the small percentage of the third wave feminist group are the very few left that think this outrageous way about feminist rights. Almost to the point that girls have this superpower, they have this like trump card that defeats all the rest when it comes to um, male superiority and they are just trying to basically dominate all gender role and become the next wave maybe maybe even a, a super gender something that stands above female and male all in one but as anyone any normal person that thinks the way that I would or just Hello. has common sense in general was raised with Hello. any Hello. slight common sense would know that that sounds crazy and that every person should be treated equal and it should not be that all of a sudden now males have this huge disadvantage against women because the third wave feminist groups can claim whatever they want and everyone says well it's feminism so you can't go against it it's what the girls want and it's kind of just like this ridiculous big uh, circle of uh, stupid things and there's a lot of people that girls included think that third wave feminism is a joke 
but that's where I came up and made the connection between the alinity and the third wave feminism that connected in the middle. So I hope that is a better explanation. If I have to make a part two on this explaining more, I will. Um, but that is basically the background behind everything going on now. And if you want to know the whole story, like I said, watch PewDiePie's videos because he touches upon it perfectly because he's in the situation. Whereas, like I said, I'm not the perfect person to go off of word for word considering I am just the person watching the video and reciprocating it back isn't going to be as good as watching PewDiePie's own video was involved in this and I just picked up the story because it really really did kind of start a spark in me where I'm like you know what I need to pick this up I need to do a video on it because I hate this type of stuff and PewDiePie does get a ton of backlash so I feel like it's just another trend where it's gonna die out eventually but it always comes to this point where it gets more and more ridiculous and I said you know what finally I'm gonna pick up on this and make this a thing so I hope you guys enjoyed this this video I'm gonna try to edit it down to make it as uh, short and sweet as possible but it's gonna be a lot more detailed and I'm gonna put more like pictures and facts and stuff on it above like an overlay uh, to kind of make it more professional than before because before I uploaded it at like 5 in the morning when I was like strung off of this energy where I was like <laughs> about to fall asleep but I'm like I need to make this because this really just like hit me and I, I got this uh, I don't know how to explain it it's just like the passion when you make YouTube videos and you're like you I need to make this like this needs to become a mainstream thing where people can see how horrible this girl is for themselves. So I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And also let me know what you want to see next uh, with my GLI or with uh, whatever I can think of next. I'm sure I'll have another video up tomorrow. Um, and there's like another little secret that I'll have to, you guys will have to keep uh, up to date with me too because there is something that might actually be happening soon. Love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. I'll see you in the next one. Ah. <sighs>